Now, K-Gun 9 on your side, sports. Sponsored by Casino Del Sol. I'm Jason Barr on this football Friday night, and we start with a matchup of ranked teams in Class 3A. Number 11, Sabino, hosting number 9, Push Ridge Christian Academy. It's also a matchup of top quarterbacks, the Lions' Ryan Fontaine and the Sabercats' Cameron Hackworth. To the Saber Dome we go. Would passing touchdowns be on the menu? We pick it up with Sabino leading 6 0 in the first quarter. It is Hackworth to Camden Gambrell for the TD. Hackworth completed his first seven passes, 13 zip Sabino. So here comes Fontaine looking deep down the sideline, but it's intercepted by Isaiah Aguirre. The Lions struggling to get going. Sabino takes advantage. Hackworth to Aguirre, the guy who just made the interception gets the touchdown. A Lions comeback falls short. Sabino with a good win, 27 to 16. All right, next stop, the south side. 2-2 two two Pueblo hosting 5-0 oh Safford. Ryan Fish is there with more. Thanks, Jason. And one player to watch here, Pueblo defensive tackle Jeremiah Parrish. The big guy has been a big problem for opposing offenses this season. 31 tackles, three sacks, and two forced fumbles for Parrish in the first four games. But Safford had a 13-0 lead at halftime in this one. In the third quarter, the Warriors find their rhythm. Design quarterback run. Victor Rodriguez to the edge. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Powers through a hit, spins over the goal line, and he's in. And Pueblo on the board. Extra point was missed, so that made it 13 to 6. Warriors recovered a fumble and a muffed punt in the third quarter. And in the fourth, they strike again. Rodriguez this time with his arm. Andre Blanton wide open down the sideline. 55 yards to the crib. Pueblo makes it a 13-12 game. The Warriors go for two in the late lead. But V-Rod swallowed up in the backfield. Valiant effort by Pueblo, but they come up just short. Safford survives, winning 13-12. At Pueblo High School, this is Ryan Fish. Jason, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Ryan, good job. Let's bring it back on the east side for Flowing Wells at Rincon. Tonight, the band is recognizing their senior members. Our band has a Lady is our legacy. boss, Lisa, tonight's <laughs> senior night announcer. Not sure if she likes that we're putting her on TV, but we'll find out on Monday. Uh, the band's been great all season, but the game was all Caballeros. That's Jonathan Odell with a touchdown. Flowing Wells wins big, 35 to nothing. All right, three and one South Point returning home to face one and three Pinnacle, but don't let the Pioneers record fool you. Pinnacle's three losses are to Phoenix area teams with a combined record of 14 and 0. <laughs> South Point fans wearing pink to recognize Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Lancers down seven nothing with the ball. Anthony Wilhite with a first down run, but the drive ended on a missed field goal. Then it's the Pioneers Zach Wren to Deuce Robinson. That's an 80 yard touchdown connection. South Point loses to a good pinnacle team 28 to 21, but Southern Arizona bragging rights will be on the line next week. That's when South Point hosts these guys, the Desert New Jaguars. This is video of their 42 nothing win last night over Nogales. They are undefeated with a five and O record. Can't wait for that one week from tonight and Heidi and Pat Arizona football trying to stop their 16 game losing streak. Oh. It's going to be uh, tomorrow night at Arizona Stadium. Yeah,